it just so I have to make it done. This is the sweetest thing. Five Valentines and for what's to come. Oh, it's six. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Hey everyone, it's Deanna and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of the video, I wanted to do kind of a vlog of a few days in my life, but I want to be very apparent. I thought this would be a fun week to film because I have like a lot of exciting things planned. So this is not like a typical like week in my life. I don't want to be like, yeah, like I have photo shoots weekly, like, because I don't. But I thought it would be fun. Like me and Nazi have a um, dinner plan for early Valentine's Day because for Valentine's Day, he isn't going to be home. So during the season, we never celebrate holidays when they actually are. We kind of just pretend like it's the holiday when it's really not. Um, but I figured it would be fun to film and to have this all documented. So I'm actually not in LA right now. We're in Ontario, California. Um, it's where the Clippers G League team plays. So that's where we are. That's why we go from hotel room to hotel room. So this is a different hotel room. Um, but yeah, the game is today. So there's a couple, another wife here and one of the girlfriends. So we're going to get some food and then go over to the game. And then it's actually just like an hour drive back to LA. So it was pretty easy to get here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just take you guys along for a few days in my life. Again, this is like not a typical day, but I thought this week would be fun to film. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Here is today's game day fit. I had Shaquille come braid my hair because I came with it straight and then last night I was like, okay, I need to wash my hair to be honest. So I had no products or anything with me, but Shaquille hooked it up with literally nothing but these two hair ties and a regular like tangly hairbrush, like not a hard brush, not a comb, not nothing. So here we are. Good morning, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I'm actually on my way to a photo shoot right now. I needed um, new digitals for my agency and I haven't gotten new photos taken literally since I was like 18 years old. So my agent like emailed me and she's like, I think it's time for like new pictures. Um, so I've been working with the stylist to get the looks together for this and I'm super excited. And it happened to be that Nathaniel has an off day today. Well, actually not happened to be. I tried planning it so that he'd be able to come. Um, because usually when I was younger, like my mom would always come to my photo shoots and things. Now your husband coming. So yeah, cause it's not like a lot to do by yourself, like with the wardrobe and makeup and like the team's coming. So it's just good to like have someone with you. Even just his support is always good. So yeah, I'll try to get some behind the scenes of today. Or to you by me. <laughs> yeah, Nazi will probably film some stuff. And yeah, I'm excited. It's very early in the morning, but we have our Starbs. So it's gonna be a good day.
much. Yay, so I finished my shoot. He is the best assistant ever. Thank you so much. Now we're just gonna get some food. I have so much makeup on, but yay. Maybe we'll catch back up later or tomorrow. Hi vlog. I just wanted to pick it up here. It's a new day now, obviously, new night actually. And we're actually on our way to our Valentine's Day dinner. Um, we're going to Nobu, which shout out to my brother for getting us a gift card there for Christmas and for um, hooking us up with the reservations. But we're excited we both have never been. Um, and I know we know it's not Valentine's Day yet, but the clips that were in the beginning of this video was actually how he asked me to be his Valentine, which was so sweet. And he had like a bunch of um, six dozen actually roses on the bed and asked me to be his Valentine, which was so, so sweet. And now we're going to dinner early because during the season we can never celebrate any like holidays when they actually are because he'll be out of town next week when Valentine's Day actually is. I'm not sure when I'll be posting this vlog, so maybe it'll be after, who knows. But yeah. But then also the Lakers are playing right now and LeBron's like getting his, beating the record for most points. So he's like trying to watch the game. Shout out to LeBron. But yeah, it's gonna be nice, so. I don't know if it's one of the restaurants where you can't film, probably. Probably not. Probably yeah. Not probably. Um, a lot of the restaurants in LA like don't let you be on your phone just like that, but just putting a little update for our memories. Shout out to Alexa for letting me borrow this beautiful dress. And yeah, see you guys later. Also, this is our first and last Valentine's Day engaged and our last valentine's day with different last names uh, i got my last name you and i have one we have the same last name mm. yay okay catch up soon So, so okay, so I'm leaving the gym, but I feel like I want to just chit chat a little to end this video out. A few things. One, I've been like so obsessed with going to the gym. And if you know me, you know, like, I was never one to really work out. <laughs> I feel like when you grow, like I grew up a dancer, so I was always just like active, like through my passion, you know? I never like had to do extra stuff growing up to like stay fit. But you know, like now that I'm like an adult, like gonna be a wife, I'm like, okay, I really need to just like take care of my body for real. And I've been working out consistently for like three months now. And I literally overall just feel so much healthier. Like, yes, I've definitely like lost a little bit of weight and like I've toned up so much but like when I first started I could barely lift eight pound weights and now I'm like doing 15 pounds I know like if you're like a gym girl you're probably like laughing like wow 15 pounds but like for me that's really a lot and I just feel so strong like my mood feels right and it's it's really gotten to the point where like if I don't work out my mind feels cluttered like I literally feel like I I can't focus like I'm so much less productive and I love working out like in the morning first thing but if sometimes like I have stuff to do like in the morning so I can't like wake up and just go to the gym so I'll like I'll go later at night but honestly even if I can't get like a full like class even if I just like 30 minutes on the treadmill, like shout out to Lauren Geraldo. Her 12 through 30 is so good. It just makes me feel so much better. Like I, just in my mind, like I'm in a better mood. Like I get so much more done. So that helps me stay positive. Like it's just great. So to end this video, I know I didn't put any like workout clips in it and I probably should have because that's really like a lot of my day today. Like the best parts of my day sometimes. 
And I've also learned, like, I should make a whole series on, like, what I do when I'm by myself because in this basketball relationship world, like, I'm by myself all the time. <laughs> and I don't think people, like, see that. You know, online you see, like, a lot of the glamorous things. Like, going, especially me, like, I document, like, a lot of the games or when I travel to his away games, which is so fun. But there's a whole other side of it of, like, me being alone <laughs> a lot of the time. Especially during the season, like, 50% of the time, if I don't go to the games, he's away. Which is fine, like... I just had to find what that looked like for me and how I can be my own person and like what makes me happy and how I can fill my days and still feel content without like going to his game or like running around here and picking up here and doing this and doing this like together. It's like, what am I doing by myself, you know? And I feel like I'm finally, granted last year I had a lot going on like personally in my life, but I feel like I'm finally getting the groove of like my daily routine so yeah I guess that's a good way to end this video like it's good if you don't have it all figured out I by no means have it all figured out I'm still learning every single day of like what works for me um but just overall I I just feel so much better my mind feels so much clearer I also take the time every single day and I'm doing um like this not it's not a program but it's like this sheet of paper that kind of breaks up the bible so you're reading the entire bible in a year um but you're not reading like genesis through revelations like you're not reading directly through it kind of like splits it up and you're only really reading like a few chapters a day um which sometimes like if i'm reading like today i think is isaiah whatever say like 22 to 20 five which really only takes you know 10 minutes of your time and then I try to journal that or like I write down some of my favorite verses um I would love to get better at like memorizing verses that's like kind of a goal of mine to be able to like spit out like oh yeah I learned this and in, in Isaiah he says blah 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 and then like that just will make me feel like so much more accomplished um but I'm working on it I am learning so much and so I think between my daily gym or just daily like move body movement and really like being in the bible so far so good for this new year um i really feel like i'm stepping into like wifehood and like into being 23 23 years old in 2023 getting married on the 23rd of july overall i just i feel good so you need a sign to kind of start focusing on yourself and like prioritizing you and like create a good circle of people around you that push you and for me at least like bring me closer to God if I can do that for y'all like that would be great so look and just like that a little chit chat and I'm home <laughs> but yeah I hope this video was fun for you guys to watch. Again, it was definitely not like a typical few days. Um, and it's only Friday. I have another like few couple days planned of fun things that, hold on, me parallel parking with one hand, hold on. You know why? The car next to me is parked bad. So it's throwing me off. Okay. Ooh. So as I was saying, this is your sign to just, yeah, lock in, focus, and, ooh, child, this is the after gym look. I'm all red. Um, my skin looks good though. Take care of your skin. Take care of your mental health. If you know me, you guys know, like, I've been through a lot, but keep good people around you and just do what makes you feel good. And for me, th recently, it's been getting a good workout in, reading my Bible, and talking to the people I love. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Bye!